welcome back. Smash the like, subscribe. Thank you. What's up? We're shaking. So, uh, Dean. This is a Dean Thoroughbred I'm reviewing today. Yes, Dean guitars have had a lot of problems over the years, especially recently with Mom and Junior and what's happening. But for most part, for the most part, Dimebag's been with them. Dave Mustaine's been with them. Kerry uh, King's been with them. And numerous other players. So they do make a good product. Uh, regardless of all the crap that's going on with them, they do. They make a good product. That being said, here's a Dean Thoroughbred. We're going to uh, go through right now and review it. Uh, thank you to Long and McQuaid in Abbotsford. This is used and it's for sale uh, at around 600 Canadian. So look across Canada if you're viewing this and it's the Abbotsford store. So tell them Steve sent you. All right, so about the guitar. What do we got here? We got uh, 22 jumbo frets. I mean, come on, it's got Grover machine heads on it. Uh, the back has been, um, it's a different satin finish to it. So it's nice, it's comfortable to play. It is very comfortable to play. Uh, these ones are made in, Wow, that's small writing. Can't quite tell. But I'll post it down below. Um, it's got the standard Dean pickups they use in here, the ZHMs or whatever they're called. Uh, other than that, it's crunchy. Uh, Three-way toggle switch. Two tones, two volumes. It's a Les Paul. But it looks nice. Nice cool to top. Mahogany body. Uh, Three-piece maple neck. And, of course, it's got a quilted maple top. So, 22 jumbo frets. Feels comfortable to play, feels great, not heavy at all. Great starter price tag at, you know, between six and a thousand bucks for these guitars. So you're getting a lot of guitar for that price and they look, I mean, the headstock, man, matching headstock. How many companies do the matching headstock with the body other than ESP, LTD, right? Gibson don't. No, they don't. Dean does. So anyway, let's run through this sucker. Uh, JCM 2000 through my uh, Two Nose Torpedo. George Lynch caps. Of course, let's do this. So in the uh, bridge position. <laughs> Those who know me, I don't fluff nothing. If the guitar is something wrong with it, I happen to record it and that's how it happens. That's how it happens because I don't want to fluff nothing, right? Um, you guys rely on my opinion on how guitars play and feel and sound and everything else, so I'm not going to overcome through that and go, yeah, yeah, the guitar's great. If there's a problem with it, I will say it. And I will take it back to Long McQuaid or wherever, whether it be Jackson. I've had a couple Jacksons come to me that were just complete crap. And I tested them, didn't even do a review on them because I don't want to go that far. And they sent it back and send me one that works. And we'll go from there. Customer service has been great with Jackson. Um, and since Fender's taken over, it's been fantastic. Neck position. Let's go to the middle position. Everything's full tilt. Bingo. <laughs>
Awesome sauce. <laughs> She sounds really good. I'm really impressed with it. Pickups have a nice gainy output. Uh, not a lot of lag. The deep tones when you run it through your uh, neck pickup sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you? Not heavy, and uh, she's not overly thick. Yo, guys, what's up? It, it does remind me um, body weight, a little bit of an ESP LTD. Definitely not a Les Paul because, you know, Les Pauls are much more heavier. But for your price point, you get a nice, decent looking guitar, I think, in my opinion. Um, and that, uh, that price point, why not? Go for it. So if you got one down below, comment. If you got one, comment down below. I'd love to hear if you do. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, paying attention. I've been Steve. You guys have been great. Hope this review helps. Does not come with a case. Just telling you that. Get a case for it. And the logo looks pretty cool. I dig the headstock. All right. Cheers. Subscribe. Much love. Till next time, let's do this. <laughs>